changer for me was learning about different picking techniques and holding the pick differently. I hold the pick depending on what tone I'm looking for. And then also different pick uh, density. Uh, I, I like really thin picks for rhythm and then really thick picks for lead. Curious, do you have any, do you have anything like that? Do you have any preferences or do you kind of equipment stuff? Yeah. As far as picks are concerned, I, like about three years ago, I made the decision to stop trying to like chase like yeah. one pick, <laughs> you know, like I didn't need like the pick of destiny, <laughs> you know, in music school, excuse me, music school. I got really caught up with that. Mm -hmm. Like Everybody played jazz three picks and like <laughs> ones. And like, that's the one that like Eric Johnson uses. And like, that's the secret to his shred. Right. It's not, yeah. it's, you know, all it really is about is like finding whatever works for you. So like, mm -hmm. I use like the, anytime I go to a pick store, it's usually the purple color. I oh. get the purple picks. They, they Dunlop? I, I have a Dunlop one. Yes. These nice. are the yeah. ones. They're, they're slightly thinner, um, which I actually prefer the thicker one. So I'm, I've been using the, the Dunlop one. But yeah. It's, let's see. 1.14 millimeters. So, you know, for people who don't know pick, yeah, densities. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Hey. Yeah. No, it's not crazy. I play 1.21 millimeter. Yeah. Which makes a difference. It's a, you know, I can tell the difference when I'm playing one of these one millimeter ones versus when I'm playing the 1.14. It's drastic to me. Um, I have no idea how thin this is, but this is what I play for rhythm. Just a fender thin. These suckers rock. I used like, if I'm recording, I'll use uh, thinner picks. Yeah. 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 The guitar specifically. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, nine times out of 10, like, especially if I'm at a gig, it's just a regular pick because totally. I went to like Nam uh -huh. and was like, Oh my, like, where's my pick? You know, <laughs> it, was, it was like, this was the pick that was handed to me. And I was like, I just need to know how to be able to play on yeah. it. Like if some dude at like a guitar store was to just like throw a bunch of picks at me, <laughs> right. find one of these in there. So yeah. like, that's the whole reasoning why I use these picks. Love it. You know, they're big and flabby, but yeah, like what you were talking about, like just grabbing a pick in a different way, like uh -huh. picking and I'm going to like, like lay into some shred. It's like, yeah, broken off most of that pick. Yeah. Yeah. Not really there. But if I'm playing big rhythm chords and I'm like, you know, jangling around, it's like, yep. Pick out. I like that. I like that you do. I, I this, that's, so that's what I taught myself was how to pick like that later on, like in college, um, to, to do the balanced picking to like be able to actually have equal force. Cause when I started and I still play like this, probably majority, I was loosey goosey, Steve Ray Vaughn style. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I always do that. Sometimes I'll go like that. Okay. And then the camera, like a little yeah. half claw type situation. Uh -huh. yeah, the time it's like, it's just, it's like where my hand falls. Yeah. And like a lot of times I do that too, because like, if I'm going to go from finger picking to uh -huh. actual picking, yep. Or the pick. Yeah. Right tuck it or doing my other stuff and then it's just right there for grabbing it totally like a lot of people do it like you know like this type of thing i can't do that no i can't do that either yeah, that just that eliminates too many fingers so i'm like it's there and it's there those yeah are yeah i do the same thing i do the exact same thing tuck it tuck it in there you know that's what I, you bring out an interesting point because we don't talk about this on guitar as much drummers talk about this a lot but i think it's a big deal on guitar too just like like a basketball shot it's like, yeah, there are proper mechanics, but so much of it is about your body and the way that your body works. You're not just going to like go shoot like Kobe. It's like, that's Kobe's body. You're not going to shoot like Bron that's LeBron's body. I feel the same way with the guitar. It's like, there's a certain part of it that's like, this is how your hands are built. This is how your wrist is built. Do you, you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. Like the, the way that you sit with a guitar will change over your career of playing guitar or just any answer, like the way that you sit yeah change like yeah I, my dad is like not super musically inclined in the way of like playing anything he has a very like he has a very large affinity for music and everything involved in music and like one of the first things he told me when i started going to music school was that like the way that i held a guitar was different cool like so true because like yeah you know a lot of people don't think about this and like you know kind of the more 
Zen aspect of playing guitar is, you know, the whole like muscle tension thing and like learning how to yeah. you know, properly warm yourself up in order to play guitar. Like when I was going to music school and stuff, we were like stretching our arms all the way up here and like massaging the muscles all the way down to your finger, you know, yeah. because this muscle gets connected all the way yeah. up here and it gets in your neck and it's a whole thing. So if you're tense up here, mm-hmm. you're tense down here, it's like a whole thing, you know? So yes. Yeah. Just like natural, as natural as you can get with holding a guitar, uh, is usually gonna be the best thing. And you know, it translates to picks like, you know, the most natural way that you can hold your hand so mm-hmm. that your whole wrist is loose. So mm-hmm. effectively do this to like actually tremolo pick or like, yeah, is going to make it vastly easier. Yes. I've always had a, tr- I've always had some trouble exp- explaining tremolo picking, like how to do it. i um, curious if you have a better way to do it. For those that don't know, tremolo picking is like super fast. It's uh, like, for me, it's like this, how do I even do it? It's so weird to even do it without the tension of a string. Um, but like I, 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 a lot of students, uh, some of those, like some older guys too, they're like, how do you do that? And I'm like, well, I kind of, you know, just do it. It's one of the things I'm like worst at explaining. I was always explained to it as like, it's like the motion of like, if you're going to go to like open a doorknob. Okay. Reach yeah. Up, grab a doorknob. That motion, that's your tremolo picking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you're like yanking a fishing line a little bit. like to get it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Because yeah. that's the tension, right? Yeah. This tiny little motion. Yeah, because you, you don't need a whole lot of motion. Like the distance between strings is not that far. So it's... No. Like, <laughs> tiniest littlest thing that gets that going um, and it's all about tension like you know yeah. Yeah. especially with like you know uh what am i trying to think of not economy picking but you know when you're picking every single note i'm terrible right now but uh it, it you know a lot of people ask me how i get to be quicker with doing that yeah. and it's really just about doing it until it becomes and mm-hmm. a whole lot of those loose mm-hmm. that's when you're going to break through is when you're able to just figure out what it is that your muscles have to do to get the least movement, mm-hmm. like the most precise movement. Yes. You little, you know, you're just bouncing back and forth across a string. Um, you watch mandolin players do that all the time. Like the time. mandolins are even on a smaller scale. Exactly. They're like the close you rip people like Andy Wood and stuff like that. Yeah. When they have like those close up shots of what their pick is doing yeah. is. Yes. You know, it's like that kind of technique. Mm-hmm. insane and mandolin's a great example because they actually use a pick yeah exactly and they use a tiny pick yeah oh gosh mandolin picks are small <laughs> it's just it's so small and they're doing two strings so it's like you're playing a 12 string right you know but it's smaller scale you know it's it's absolutely insane but it's it's the same kind of mechanic and you know those guys get it down in oh yeah it, it, to a crazy degree it is totally 